You know, I I always had I always planned to have kids by the age of 30. I'm 32 now, and I have my third one on the way. My oldest uh, child, my son Ender, is uh, seven years old. So, needless to say, uh, planning for kids, uh, you know, you're never gonna be. It's never it's never gonna be a perfect time to have kids, and it's just kind of how it is. And I wanted to talk about kind of like what kids have done for me in my life. And I'll tell you that the probably the most um, Probably one of the most important things, they really do force me to become a better person. You know, you want to be an example. All the random stupid shit that you want to do or talk or say that are inappropriate, you begin to realize um, what example are you setting. Of course, there's always some room for some jokes, uh, politically charged jokes, racial jokes, and just kind of humor you know, that you just kind of mess around with about stereotypes and whatnot when it comes to politics and race and all this stuff. And then, or or sex, you know, sex jokes. And uh, can't really do that around kids. Kind of have to clean things up because you don't want to share that with them. They're not that old yet. That's not appropriate. And even if you joke a little bit, it uh, it becomes really bad. It's just not the the philosophy you want to teach your children. Or I should say for me, it's not this philosophy I want to teach my children. But going back to what I was talking about was, you know, my kids, especially my son, forces me to become a better person. And since he's this little person now that can talk and think and do all these things, it's it's like, you know, I want to I want to teach him to work out every day. I want him to exercise. I want him to do cardio because truth, he's a seven year old. He can't deadlift, squat and bench. He can't power lift. Um, So pretty much all he can really do is run and play. Right, so who's gonna run and play with him? It's gonna be me. So that's the way to do it. You know, sometimes uh, you don't have the resources or time to take him to sports. If you do, that's great. But I'm in a situation with my life where I have to like I gotta be the one. I'm the leader, and so I have to learn how to run again. I need to get back to running because it's something that I can do with my son. I don't really enjoy it, and I don't think he does either. I know he doesn't. He hates running, but. You know, it's something you got to do. It's something you do pretty much for a long time in school. And uh, why not be good at it, right? Who wants to be the guy in the back? It's like the shittiest place to be. And there's lots of things you learn in school that you kind of learn as you get older. Or the same things that you feel as you're older is that you can't... Like, there's all kinds of shit you just don't want to do. Like, he's at that age where he doesn't want to do his homework. He's he's getting there. He's complaining about it. Doesn't want to wake up early. Doesn't want to work out. Just wants to play games and just do whatever he wants, just like an adult does. And if you are a teenager watching this, or you're maybe a very young adult, 18, 19 years old, uh, you're learning the uh, the real advantages of being on your own, at least, or maybe you're getting close to that point. And uh, I have to say that, you know, by a certain age, you you don't have control over your children, and if you want to. Uh, have them be the best that they can be. You got to be able to teach them stuff that they can take with them. So that way, when it comes to making decisions out there on their own, they pick a decision that is morally sound. You, that you know, you keep. I mean, one of my main things. I'll digress. Kind of go on a tangent here. It's like my biggest problem as a child when I was young is just having confidence. So like one of my biggest focuses is making sure he's ridiculously confident, and that's sort of what I've been doing with him, building him up, building him up, because I want him to. Uh, I don't want him to be a depressed kid like I was. You know, I want him to be. I want him to have friends. I want him to be comfortable around people. And these are just you know, and again back to this idea of me making this video is like I need to do the same thing I need to get comfortable around people I need to kind of share who I am I need to be and I'm talking about not necessarily in videos but also like in real life I need to be a little bit more outgoing because I know that I'm not very outgoing when it comes to uh, being in the real world at least sometimes oddly enough I'm a personal trainer and I have this issue anyways I somehow to make I somehow make it work but those are just some thoughts on kids Anyways, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.